Rise and shine, everybody. Pastor Ken and Charlotte here. Did you see that sunrise this morning? Absolutely awesome. God is an artist. And a show off, too. <laughs> I love it. We're studying about the spiritual armor of God. Putting it on so that we have victory in our Christian lives. Do not succumb to the power of the enemy, which is Satan. But learn how to stand up against him and what tactics to use to be victorious. It says four times, learn to stand, stand, withstand, and having done all, stand. Uh, that means we have the victory. I just want to tell you, stand on the word of God. Now, in verse 17 of the chapter we've been studying all week, it says, The sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God, which is the word of God. I, I just like to tell you, there's only one offensive weapon with this armor. There's absolutely no piece of armor for retreating and going back. You're a dead duck if you, <laughs> you're on your own, I guess, if you do that. Nothing on the back. The other pieces that we've been talking about are protection. Protection. But there's one piece of armor, which is the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. Now, dear children... If you are to become successful in this warfare and learn how to resist the enemy to the place where he flees from you, you will need the Word of God. There's some repetition here today in what I'm saying. I just can't get it out of my spirit how important it is to have the Word of God. Some people don't read very much of the Word of God. It's your roadmap. Your tools are in there. The blueprint is in there. How you get victory in your Christian life and walk in victory is through the Word of God. Out of the Greek into the English language comes two words describing the Word of God. One is the word logos, which is talking about the Bible as a whole. 66 books of it. In the library, you might say the Logos just incorporates that. It's everything in the Logos, the Bible. The other word coming from the Greek language to help us understand the Bible is the word Rima, the Rima word of God. And that Rima work, word of God is when God has said something specific in the Word of God that applies to the situation you're going through, and you can say, this is the Rima Word of God. An illustration of that would be, an illustration of that would be when Jesus was being tempted of Satan in the wilderness after 40 days and 40 nights. Now you got to understand he's very hungry. And Satan comes with a temptation 
had dealt in the area of his appetite. It said, you know, you could turn these stones into bread. And Jesus could have. He said, why don't you just turn these stones into bread and have something to eat? And Jesus came back to Satan with the rema word of God and said, it is written. Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth from the mouth of God. Jesus is taken to a high pinnacle of the temple. And he's told by Satan to cast himself down because the word says he'll give his angels charge over thee. To which Jesus responds, Satan, it is written, thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. From an elevated place, he shows them all the kingdoms of the known world and promises him that he will withdraw his power if Jesus will just bow down and worship him. And Jesus comes right face to face with Satan and says, it is written, the rema word of God is this, for this situation, thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shalt thou serve. Would you like to know what the rema word of God is for your situation? First of all, I need to kind of know what your situation is. No, I don't need to know it. I'll tell you how to find it. I usually go to a concordance or a Bible helps book. But more often than not, I just go into the search in my Google and ask, what does God say about, for instance, temptation? Press the button, and up will come the Rima word. What the word of God says specifically about temptation. I don't know what you're going through today, but I'd like to give you a little assignment. You're all doing so well at corresponding and coming back and interacting and leaving comments and stuff. What's a situation that you're going through? And you could categorize it as an attempt on the enemy's part to influence you for evil. influence you the wrong way, and you need a word from God. You need a ream of word from God. Go to your search or your concordance. And go in there and say, what's God's word on? And name the situation and see what you come up with today. Remember, you will be extremely blessed when you learn to use the word of God, the Rima word of God. You can quote it. You can memorize it. You can pray it. You can sing it. You can, you can use it when you're worshiping God. Say, this is what the Rima word of God is. This is what God's word says. You say, well, what if I get it wrong? <laughs> what if I basically just end up using the Logos, the general Bible, instead of the Rima? <laughs> you, you'll never go wrong by using the Word of God. It's the sword of the Spirit. 
you begin to study in it. Let me let me let me let me give you a real hint. Piece of paper, a pen. I got stuff written all over the place. As you open the word and begin this to find the ream of God, the ream of word of God for your situation. Do what I'm doing right now. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, through the power of the Holy Spirit, reveal the Rima Word of God. I need some answers. Holy Spirit, teach me how to use the Word of God so that I can be a strong Christian soldier. I'm pretty ignorant sometimes about how to use the word of God. Please assist me in this as I open up the Bible to find the Rima word of God for a powerful word of victory on this particular situation in my life. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Try it. If, if, if you find anything really great, I'd like to know about it. I really would. And God bless you. Learn to use the Rima word of God. On almost every given subject, there's general word for the whole Bible, but you will find there's promises and direction that deal specifically with what you're dealing with. That's the Rima word of God. And when you read it, having asked the Holy Spirit to guide you and to show you in your heart and mind, he'll open it up and make it real to you. Okay? Try it. Have a great day. Get back with me. Let's row together as we put on the full armor of God. It's been great being with you. Expect to hear from you. See ya. Bye.